have the next speaker here. And, and uh, I welcome Takashi Norimatsu from Hidachi. And you are talking about security requirements for financial services in API. So off you go. <laughs> Let's start my talk about what are a title, what are protected and secure by security requirements for yeah, providing financial services. Before my talk, I'd like to introduce myself to you briefly. I'm Takashi Noimatsu, working at Hitachi United States Japan. I've been engaging in providing support services about OSS and implementing contributing from temperature to OSS. My current work was uh, contributing W3C web authentication support to OSS people. Hmm. So I say sorry in advance that I'm poor speaking in English. And I put too much about the detail onto my presentation material. So today uh, I will uh, talk about the essence in detail and <coughs> might omit uh, some parts. The first, uh, today's talk consists of three parts. The uh, first, the uh, security profile for API, providing financial services. And next, the pick up the uh, Financial API. Oh. <laughs> so we think about the financial API, the duty profile. Finally, I'd like to give you some insights again for my experience of implementing financial API security profile to OSS people. First, uh, the use of the fintech has spread. Some financial institutions have begun to buy their financial services by their API to their customers. For example, the open banking in the UK. Then, the power of the API can access and use additional services so that the API should be accessed in a secure way. So, there is a case that securing such API is required by the law. For example, the USPSP tools. So, how to secure such kind of API? I'd like to introduce here the uh, security profile that is determining the profile usage of security standards to meet the requirements by both such use case. <coughs> so, picking up the OS2, uh, such kind of the security profile, uh, security standard. Uh, it is a framework rather than the protocol, uh, therefore, the various usage is allowed. For example, the state parameter of the OS or OS2 is recommended in uh, defined in its RFC, but in some cases, it should be required for preventing session hijacking, cross site request forgery. Then here, uh, I would like to pick up two such kinds of the security profiles. The first is the financial grade API, or FAPI security profile. It's also the OIDC based security profile. It mainly consists of two parts. The read only API security profile, read and write security API security profile. And there is a certificate program for this public security profile. Mm. The other is open banking security profile. And it is a happy security profile based security profile and an open banking security. It consists mainly two parts uh, for redirect flow and recovery proof flow. But there is also the Coho Market Suite suite for this open market security profile. And next, 
Now I'd like to pick up the RPCPC profile and describe it in detail. Hmm. Uh, this is the first, uh, sorry, this is the flow of the PowerPC So it is basically the same as the OS authorization code command. <coughs> it consists of the five phases. OS code reset, user authentication consent, the OS code response, token request, and finally the API set. So it seems that it not it's not appropriate for us to adopt the peer also for uh, secure the API providing financial services because the following problem may arise. The fraudulent token creation in the exercise. So we mean that the attacker can get the victim access token and use it for API access. Then, to prevent this problem, that it might be better to adopt the party security profile. But it is not too easy to understand why applying the party security profile that prevents the, the problem. Because the here security profile documents on end is related to the number of security standard documents and to describe in detail what we should do but not so what can be achieved by following that and why we should do that so so therefore i'd like to try to describe what can be achieved by following this APS security profile to prevent the, this problem <coughs> I think the happy security profile is going to achieve the following two points to guard against the fraud and token acquisition. The authentication in highly credible way and message integrity is only authentication. And the following one point to guard against fraud and token exercise. So the token sender constraint. Uh, by realizing it, the only client application who receives the token from a server can only access the API by this token. The next, uh, I try to break down these three <coughs> points onto eight pages for the flow and try to describe what can be achieved by following the security profile on page phase. First, the host code request, in this phase, uh, a client application sends a host code request to the host server via user browser by HTTP redirect. So such a way of the communication seems to be the vulnerable to forging or tampering this request. Therefore, uh, a public security profile uh, requires using the request object defined in OIC. By using this request object, the observer can confirm that which client application created the request and whether this request was not modified. Because this, the request object is in short, JSON web token, and JSON is signed by client application private key. So it's tamper resistant and can be checked who created <coughs> this request by the signature verification process on the observer. So next, the a user authentication the content phase to, <coughs> to prevent the user impersonation. The public security profile requires the user authentication in highly credible ways. To say more concisely, <coughs> public requires level of assurance to 
please refer to in ICU TX1254. Tuesday shortly in the month of the fourth institution. So here, the people are in WCC web authentication for this March first authentication. It is the web based authentication standard by WCC achieving a broad rate of March first authentication. And please note that Fabi does not require the web awesome itself. Web awesome is a promising candidate to satisfy this uh, requirement. Next phase, the uh, authorization code response. In this phase, the authorization server sends the auth code response, including the authorization code, to the client application via user browser by HTTP redirect. In mm, such a way, our communication is also uh, vulnerable to forging and tampering this response. Uh, therefore, the public security profile requires using the ID token that detects signature. By using this ID token that defined in OIDC, the client application can confirm that uh, which authorization server created the response and whether the response was not modified or not. Hmm. Because this ID token is the uh, short JSON web token. And digitally signed by most of a private key, so it's a tamper resistant and also can be checked to create this response by signature verification process on the client application. Then, next, the token request phase. In this phase, the client application sends the authorization code to the auth server to get the access token. <coughs> So first, uh, considering the public claim that does not have the capability of keeping the secret securely that is used for the client authentication. Therefore, instead of <coughs> conducting the client authentication <coughs> for the public client, the public security profile requires using the full key for code exchange, called Pixie. By using this pixie, the authorization server can confirm that the sender of the auth code in token request phase is the receiver of the auth code in the previous auth code response phase. Which means that if the attacker can intercept the victim's access um, authorization code and send it to the auth server in order to get the victim access token, the auth server can detect that the server offender of the auth code in this token request phase, in this context, the attacker is not the receiver of the auth code in the previous auth code response. In this context, in this context the victim. Therefore, the auth server can refuse the attacker's token request. And next, uh, considering the confidential client to prevent the client application impersonation, the FASP security requirements, uh, security profile requires the client authentication in highly credible ways. The public security profile allows two methods, the mutual TLS and signed job. Uh, JWS client assertion. Here, picking up the mutual TLS, uh, it leverages the client authentication by TPI based client certificate in TLS layer. It's more credible than the TPS based authentication. Uh, finally, we reach to reach the API access phase. The, in this phase, to prevent the token, the fraudulent token <coughs> exercise, 
Happy security profile requires uh, access token be a holder of key token. By using this holder of key token, the media server can confirm the uh, center of the access token is the receiver of the access token in the previous or token request phase, which means that the attacker can intercept the victim's access token and send it to the API server to access the API legally. And the API, has, API server can confirm, can detect that the sender of the, this access token, in this context, the attacker is not the receiver of the access token in the previous token space. In this context, the victim. Therefore, the API server can refuse the adapter the API access legally. So, <coughs> so the public PPP profile uh, allow two methods to realize this horizontal token, mutual TRFs and token binding. So today, I'd like to pick up the virtual TRS method. To say shortly, by using this virtual TRS method, the access token is bound with client application certificate. The therefore, the client application holding the private key related to this client certificate can only exercise its own access token. So finally, I'd like to talk about something I've noticed through my experience of implementing this public security profile to OSS, PGROC. What's PGROC? It is the OSS for identity and access management. It's community is led by Red Hat. It can not only work as the open ID provider and some IDB, but also can work as both server in all two contexts. I implemented and contributed uh, this participatory support to the PCORP along with the kind of plan implementing the <coughs> participatory profile to PCORP and March law to the PCORP and run the participatory uh, case. All command state. To in the future get the parties the certificate, but not yet completed. This is the list of the large pull request to keyboard. I've implemented and contributing about the participatory profile. This is the issues we need to be resolved to pass all of the components <coughs> to get the certificate. It's not yet completed. Finally, I'd like to talk about two topics uh, about implementation of the public security profile. First, the, client, uh, the topic about the client application side. The public security profile requires the client application privacy and public key. Especially, this public key or its related information needs to be registered to the app server. But therefore, the client registration process must, all be, secu must also be secured. It impairs, if not, it impairs the protection of API and public totally. And the talk is about the whole of the token. As I mentioned earlier, by using the mutual TS method to realize this whole of the token, the access token is bound with client to application certificate. And therefore, what happens if this client certificate expires? Then the access token become useless. So the user needs to try the long journey of the flow, which annoys the user. Just another idea is the client is bound token. Because this the client ID is invariant against updating the client certificate. Therefore the client if the client certificate expires uh, the access token bounded with this client certificate is still active. The user does not need to try the own journey, which does not allow 
no it didn't say. So the concluding thing was that today I'd like to talk about APIs, uh, providing financial services. To secure the such kind of API, uh, applying public safety profile, uh, here I it, and picking up the public safety profile and describing in detail, and finally, uh, I've told some insight gained by taking public safety profile to people. Thank you. That's all for my talk. Thank you very much for your listening.